you guys had requested more info on parasites. What are some of the symptoms, etc. So with parasites, it can be a little bit tricky because they are so diverse and they can work in different ways in different people's bodies. So some people will see um, unexplained weight loss where they just can't gain weight. Others will have um, a very difficult time shedding any weight. Some of the common symptoms though would be dark circles under your eyes, slight, inf uh, slight food intolerances where you just don't feel the best when you eat, say, um, gluten, wheat, etc. Um, oftentimes insomnia or waking up in the middle of the night just wide awake, unable to fall back asleep very easily, especially around the time of the new moon. And that sounds a little hokey, but with parasites, their activity in your body is just more pronounced around the time of the full moon due to the gravitational pull of the moon. With my son, he had quite a devastating parasite, but doctors could not find it. So I figured through all of his symptoms, he did in fact have parasites. I had him tested over six times before one test came back positive. And in researching, I came to find out that there's a very brief window of, peer, of, of time, like 48 hours in a month, where you'll actually see the parasite in the stool. So it isn't always very effective to um, say, well, I'm not going to treat parasites unless I for sure have a parasite, because you very well could have a parasite that your doctor can't find unless you happened to test within that 48 hour window of the month. So in my way of thinking, um, you know, our grandparents and great grandparents used to deworm their kids and themselves all the time. Six, every six months on the regular, we deworm our cattle, our sheep, our dogs, our cats, but not ourselves. And so because parasites can be picked up so, so easily, if you've ever walked outside barefoot, they can go up to the bottom of your feet. If you garden, they can go through the dirt in the soil into your hands. Um, eating unwashed fruits and vegetables, or even just, you know, we rinse them with water and we eat them. But if you have people, say, working in your grocery stores from different countries and stuff, they're literally bringing their parasites with them, touching fruits and vegetables. You then ingest them, you now have them. Um, if you grew up around animals, if you have dogs or cats, parasites are just so easily passed that you can pretty much guarantee that you have parasites. If you've especially never done a cleanse in your life, you can pretty much guarantee you have parasites. There are different parasites that we pick up from pets that they do know cause cancer as well, liver flukes among others. And so to cleanse out our bodies regularly, I feel like it's just so important and a great prevention method that we can utilize. So. You know, all this to say with parasites, it's not that, uh, like I definitely have no commission or anything from this company. I just really strongly believe and have seen over the years, working with hundreds of clients, how much their health can be affected by doing a regular parasite cleanse. So with my family, we now do a parasite cleanse at least once a year. We'll do them every six months if we've been to Mexico or traveling elsewhere, um, just to keep the body cleaned out. And it's been crazy to see the difference in our family's health over the years. Um, you know, I know that I've passed parasites. You can sometimes see them in the toilet. Not that you want to know that, but I would much rather see these parasites on the outside of my body than on the inside of my body. So for my husband, the first time he did this cleanse, he lost over 20 pounds of just junk inside of his colon. And when you think about it, you know, most of us go our entire lives without doing any sort of cleanse. There's a lot of junk in your colon, your intestines. It's no wonder that people have um, digestive issues, hormonal issues. So many things can be caused by these parasites. Um, hair loss, itchy skin, bad breath, odors, um, just like so many, so many items. You can literally Google um, parasite symptoms and have a whole read through the list. See if you identify with any of those items. Again, I'll link the cleanse below so you can take a look at it if you want to. I actually just did a big order because they have some items on clearance right now. And I just like to have that peace of mind knowing that I am routinely cleansing out my family's bodies, that we don't have these parasites and stuff going on. A few tips for those of you that have ordered the parasite cleanse. Um, oftentimes when you get a few days into it, you'll feel almost just like a little bit more tired, feel like you're coming down with a bit of a cold. You can even have a little bit of a sore throat, runny nose is really common, runny eyes. 
because your body is literally cleansing out all of these toxins in your system. And if it's been some time since you've done a cleanse, your body is going to have a lot of flushing out to do. Um, the ways that you can support your body during this cleanse, make sure you keep up your water intake for sure. I like to add lemon into my water to keep my body more alkaline, flush everything out. Take hot Epsom salt baths with a cup of Epsom salts and a cup of baking soda in the water. This helps to draw toxins out of your system as well. And then as always, get lots of sleep, fuel your body well, keep up the movement and the exercise. This is gonna help you just be able to get through the cleanse and feel your best helping your body out. You guys asked what are some of the specific ways that I have felt improved since doing the Parasite Cleanse. I used to be very intolerant to dairy as a teenager and couldn't drink milk, cheese, yogurt, any of it. And since doing the cleanse, I certainly can have full-fledged dairy as you see on my stories and foods that I'm sharing. So that would definitely be a perk for me. And then um, also for clients, I've definitely seen and talked to a number of of individuals that one lady specifically, a friend of mine in Nova Scotia, she had um, three breast lumps, tissue in her breasts that they were very concerned about. She was freaking out. I suggested doing this cleanse and just said, hey, like it can't hurt. Do this cleanse, see what happens. And if anything, it's gonna just clean up your system to make you um, better able to support what's going on. And she ended up doing this cleanse went back to the doctor and they could not find the breast lumps again. The doctor asked her what she did and she told them and they were just dumbfounded because they had no answers for her. And so in her opinion, it was that the cleanse actually cleansed this out of her body. You can't know for sure, right? You can't know if that was actually clumps of parasites or something in there or just something that the body had to flush out but she was just <laughs> dumbfounded and very thankful for this cleanse. She also realized that for the longest time, she had this twitch behind her eye for years and years and years. And near the end of the cleanse, that twitch just went away. And so she's like, I have no idea what that was, but it hasn't come back since. And so she's very glad for the cleanse and that she did it. And there's just so many things, right? Our bodies are so complex and amazing. It baffles me.